Hi, this is Nate Storer with Bright Agritech, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about how this uh, living wall works that we've made out of Zipro towers. So last week we showed off uh, this green wall just a little bit. Um, we, we showed that we uh, basically had it up on the side of our building at that point. Today I'm just going to talk a little bit about how it works. As you can see, we're using um, Zipro towers, or a variant of Zipro towers here. And um, down here, we've got a little drainage system set up that's collecting all of the excess water from our towers. So for this particular um, setup, we're actually using aquaponic water. So the water going into the top of our green wall here is water from our aquaponic system. So this might be the, uh, I think this is probably the first aquaponic living wall in the world. But um, we basically just got our irrigation system up here. There's black tubing, just like uh, just like inside. It runs kind of along the top here, along this header. And uh, the tower, we've got uh, you know drippers set up, so they drip into the top of each tower. And as you can see, each tower is just connected um, for, by the anchor hole in the back of the tower. It's connected up here to this header using just a simple screw. So a screw is uh, this header is connected to the side of the building. The screw is driven into the header, and then we can basically just um, hook the tower up whenever we need to put it on, take it off really easily. Uh, similarly, because we're using all of the same poly that we're using inside, um, you know, we can turn off individual towers just by kinking that tubing. All right, so as you see, we have our uh, our Zipro towers here planted to barley, and this is uh, this is actually a, a kind of fun black barley variety that we've got planted in there. We just planted them in, in pots and then tore the seedlings apart and transplanted them, which is a little bit rough on the seedlings, but um, you know, it, it's the easiest way, or it was the easiest way at the time for us to get going. You can do it over uh, plug trays, anything like that, uh, to get seedlings going. But uh, because we went with a, we're going with this grass so that it can insulate our fish house in the middle of the winter, um, because we're going with a grass, we chose to go with barley because this will grow out nice and thick by the end of the season and then insulate our fish house all winter long. So that water dribbles down and it goes into our drainage system here and uh, we have a piece of 5 inch PVC with a cap and a T drain fitting in the back with a half inch line that connects all of these together. So um, all the, the water level and all of these little, um, basic the, these little sumps will all equalize and all that water drains back down, right down to here, and then it goes back into the fish house where the sump is located. Alrighty, so we're in the fish house now, and uh, you can kind of see how our three quarter inch uh, return line comes in from outside from the green wall. And using uh, bulkhead fitting here, we've got it so all that water flows into this 35 gallon barrel that's partly sunk in the ground here. So this barrel then becomes our sump or it becomes the lowest point in our system. And um, I've got a, uh, a nice little float valve rigged up in here so that um, if I turn it on, basically this sump tank will fill um, up to a certain level and feed the system off of our aquaponic system. So essentially this is like a, a dead end uh, for the for the aquaponic system. It takes the water from the aquaponic system and it feeds it to our living wall outside. So we've got the pump down in the bottom of our sump. It is uh, pumping water up through a three quarter inch line and sending it back out the same way it came in. And that's uh, basically what forms our feed line outside. So we've got a return line, returning water to the barrel, our uh, feed line going out to the living wall. And uh, you know, this is all kind of connected just with poly tubing, with really simple connections. And really the only two heavy duty things I'm using in here are two bulkhead fittings. And the reason I'm using bulkhead fittings is because I had to torque my line around a bit uh, to get it in here. So um, besides that, it's really a simple process of getting these things set up. And uh, it's been a lot of fun so far. I'm really excited to see what it does in the next few weeks. So that's a quick introduction to our aquaponic living wall. If you guys are interested in doing uh, something similar, uh, we found that our zip grow towers really make this process super simple. And as for some of the other parts, you can find, uh, you can find them at your local hardware store. Or um, if you want to, go ahead and go to our website. In the next, cu in the next couple weeks, we're going to start posting um, all of these as products on our web store. And we're going to try and keep them really inexpensive for you so you don't have to go rooting around trying to find this stuff. But um, I hope you uh, 
found this video useful and uh, keep tuned in. We're going to keep doing updates on this green wall, show you kind of how it works. And uh, we're going to try a few different crops come spring. We're a little bit late in the season right now. Uh, but next spring we'll be doing lots of different crops in this. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned in. Uh, again, this is uh, the Bright Agritech channel. If you find these uh, videos useful, please subscribe.